Welcome back, Seth Bling here. I wanted to show off sort of an idea that I had. An idea is uh, to build a computer without using any redstone wire or redstone torches or redstone repeaters. And so I'm not actually, I haven't actually done that and I'm not going to show exactly how to do that in this video. What I'm going to show is how to build the basic circuit components that you need in order to build a computer. Um, and I'll show those circuit components without using any redstone dust or torches or repeaters. So, for instance, here we have a normal redstone wire it's with a switch, and when the switch is on, it's powered, and when the switch is off, it's unpowered. Um, and here we have the, a similar analogy. So I have some redstone on either ends, but that's just to show you the state of the input here and the output here. So you see when I turn the flip the switch on, uh, the output gets powered, and then when I flip it off, the output's unpowered. So this behaves exactly like the redstone wire over here. Um, what's going on is I, I have some uh, detector rails, and I'm um, pushing the detector rails with sticky pistons uh, in order to uh, underneath the cart in order to, in order to power the next piston, etc., etc. And so they act kind of like repeaters. And uh, and then similarly, when when the power gets lost, it retracts, and it in, uh, actually uses the princi same principle as instant wire to retract them all at the same time. So no matter how long the wire is, it's going to retract all of the uh, all all of the pistons at the same time, and and the output power will be lost exactly the same time that you turn off the input. So that's how that's how a wire works. Um, here we have a little OR gate. It's very simple. If either of the inputs is on, then the output's on. Um, and if both of them are on, it's on. Otherwise, it's off. So to do that here, we um, it actually looks sort of similar to the redstone wire. We have the same thing. You can see the output's on, since one of them is on. Output's on. So yeah, what's, it's similar, except uh, the, two, the two inputs are getting combined with this piston. Um, Next I have um, a NOT gate, or uh, an inverter, and basically the output is the opposite of the input. When the input's on, the output's off. And you see it's opposites. Um, and so I have the same thing here. Uh, it works a little bit differently than the, than the previous couple examples, because um, these guys uh, basically, when, when the sticky piston retracts, it can't pull a cart with it. So I kind of had to do a little workaround to get the cart to only power, uh, only sit on top of the detector rail when the, the piston is retracted. And so this glass block sort of gets in the way, and when the piston extends, uh, it, it, it's not able to push the cart, so the cart just stays where it is. And so this is a, this is a not gate or an inverter. Uh, you can work. You can run it pretty fast. Um, works just fine. Um, so, actually, if you're a student of computer science, you know that this is most of what you need in order to build a computer. You still need memory, um, and I'll get to that in a bit. But uh, uh, yeah, an OR gate, an NOT gate, and, and just wiring uh, will get you very far. So next, what I have is an AND gate. Um, if yeah, if both of the inputs are on, then the output... Sorry, this is a NAND gate. If both of the inputs are on, then the output will be off. Otherwise, the output's on. So that's what you see here. Um, it's not too big in, uh, in here. Basically, it, it uses two NOT gates, um, just like we used over here, and then combines them with sort of an OR gate. Uh, yeah, so it's two NOT gates. Wherever you see glass, that, that means I'm doing a NOT, not gate. So. Uh, when both of the inputs are on, the output turns off, but as soon as one of the inputs turns off, output is back on. Next up, we just add an inverter at the end in order to turn the NAND gate into an AND gate. AND gate, yeah. So the output's only on if both of the inputs are on. Um, and so we have the same thing here, and I just ripped up the design over here and added a added an inverter at the end. Um, the inverter is right here. So both of them are on. Output is on. 
Yeah. That's an AND gate. Um, okay, so now we get to the memory. This is a very common thing for people who use Redstone. It's called an RS NOR latch. Um, RS stands for reset set, and NOR is the uh, is the sort of opposite of an OR gate. So it uses the OR property or the, the NOR property of Redstone torches uh, to create a latch which remembers um, remembers its state. So basically. Uh, if I push this button, it will it'll flip the uh, it'll flip the latch, and if I push this button, it'll flip it back. And if I keep pushing it, it's gonna keep uh, it's gonna keep um, staying over here. So there's two outputs to this one. There's one here and there's one here. Um, the outputs are always opposite of each other. So um, so this is this is the basic unit of memory, and actually it turns out you can do it very compactly with. Uh, with minecarts as well. So basically I just have a minecart here and then it just gets pushed back and forth. And so as it gets pushed back and forth it sits on a different detector plate. And so it allows a, a different um, piston to get extended. So we have again two inputs, two outputs. Um, when this input gets receives power it'll uh, it'll turn this output on and vice versa. This input receives power, this output turns on, and it'll remember that state because the cart's going to stay where it is until you, uh, until you give it more power. So um, the actual functional unit here is, is uh, 4x2, which is the same size as the 4x2 latch here. So this is actually kind of an interesting alternative that might be usable even if you're, even if you're building a normal redstone contraption. Um, okay, so moving on. Uh, here we have a NOR, NOR gate. It's very simple with redstone. It's just two inputs going into a, uh, a redstone torch. Um, and so if either of them is on, then the output will be off. So the output's only on if both of them are off. Uh, you have to do a little bit more work over here, but it works kind of similarly. Basically we just have an OR here and then a NOT. And, uh, see by the glass I have a knot. So if either outputs are on, this will turn off. Yep. So nor gate. Okay, so those are those are a bunch of gates. Um, and I think I have a couple more. But uh, next I wanted to show how to move a signal up or down. So this is sort of one sorry, let me first show it with redstone. Um, yeah, so basically this is a, a vertical power transmitter. Power transmits power upwards. Um, when this powers this block, it'll turn off this torch, which allows this torch to turn on, etc. Uh, pretty common. So when I flip the switch, the input, output, it's, it's a vertical wire, but it only goes up. Um, so I have uh, something that performs a similar function over here. It's a bit clunkier and it's much, much slower. So when I turn this on, Eventually, this thing gets turned on, and when I turn it off, eventually this thing gets turned off. It's it's still it's operating on a similar principle. These are essentially not gates. Um, you can see when I extend this piston, it'll move the minecart off of off of this uh, detector rail, which causes this piston to retract, um, and so yeah, and vice versa. When I retract the piston, it'll put it back on the detector rail. So it's it's a NOT gate. It, it works by the same principle as this. It's a bunch of NOT gates um, going up uh, in a spiral. and But it's just really slow because you have to wait for the minecart to fall and you have to wait for uh, the detector plate to stop uh, transmitting signal. It's slow, but, um, but it works. Um, here's another little gate. Uh, this is Okay, maybe a little easier to see in redstone. This is a, um, if this input is A and this input is B, this is a not A and B gate. That's what, that's what the, the function is that this gate, this circuit uh, computes. So the only, the output will only be on if this one's on and this one's off. Just show you that real quick. Yeah, okay. So I have a similar thing over here. Um, to show you. 
Yep, so those are all four configurations that the inputs can have, and you saw output was only on in this configuration. Uh, yeah, just a random circuit. Okay, so now we get into some of the difficulties. Um, it turns out that because of the way that pistons update, it's, uh, it's actually very difficult to get a signal to travel downward without using redstone wire or torches or repeaters. So, um, so what I have here, actually, let me show you, well, okay, first let me show you the redstone. Um, basically, it's a bunch of knock gates. So power's on here, power's on here, power's off here, power's off here. It's it just, it's a bunch of knock gates um, arranged nicely. Um, then let me show you, okay, so there's also this idea. So basically we have two, one input and two outputs, and this output's always the opposite of this one. Um, and they switch whenever I switch the uh, lever. Um, and so I, I've built this similarly. It's very compact to build with, or you know, relatively compact to build using the mine cards and detector rails. So when I switch this, it'll toggle which, which piston's on and which piston's off. Okay, so now you need to pay attention to this piece of redstone wire and this one. Um, and I want to show you that this one's off and that one's off. And then when I turn this one on, this one gets turned on. Off. Off. Okay. So it, it's uh, it's just a... Basically, it acts like a redstone wire that, that travels downward. It also travels fairly far horizontally. Um, it's a little complicated how it works, though. So first thing I do is I have one of these. And, and you can see these are the two pistons. When I when I flip this lever, which piston is out gets toggled. Um, you can just see right here that these get toggled. And so, um, when when this piston is out, uh, it will keep this minecart flowing uh, back and forth. Um, and then if I toggle it, instead, this minecart will keep going back and forth. And so, um, I use that to trigger um, the two inputs, the left and right input, into the latch that I showed you before, the, the, the unit of memory. So as long as this minecart is bouncing up and down, the latch is going to be this way. And since this power is off, um, we, look at, we, we look at this uh, detector rail and, and the power is off here. Um, and then, similarly, when we flip it, the other minecart is now going up and down, and so that's going to trigger the input to uh, the other input to the to the latch, which is going to keep the minecart on this side, and the power is going to be on. So it's sort of a convoluted way of getting a signal to travel downward, but I couldn't really find a much better way to do it, just because of the way that uh, pistons kind of fail to update if, if they're receiving power from above. So, okay, so that's a redstone wire that travels downward. Um, okay, so now, <laughs> now we get to the meat. Uh, just savor this for a moment. This is an XOR gate. An XOR gate, for those of you who aren't familiar, uh, will have its output on, its output is these nine squares here, uh, will have its output on um, only if exactly one of these two inputs is on. So as you can see, when I turn one of the inputs on, eventually the output will, will turn on. Um, but if there aren't exactly one input on, so if both inputs are on, then it will turn this output off. You can see that did happen. If it's just the other input on, then it should turn back on in a sec. There it goes. Um, and so yeah, this should turn the turn the output off. This is pretty complicated. Uh, I've got kind of a, a, a NAND gate going on here, and then a NOR gate going on here. Um, they're like inverted, and then I use the concept from here to bring the signal. Um, well, first I bring the signal up, and then I bring the signal down, um, and 
it's yeah it's just it's just really complicated um, once the signal gets over here we kind of or them and, and we have the output um, here's a version in redstone so you can see the output is just gonna be right here um, if one of them is on uh, yeah so it's the same behavior as, as what I just showed you except it's much faster um, this was my first take at XOR after I after I built this little circuit I realized that I could probably kind of mimic its behavior and make the whole thing flat and so that's exactly what I did you'll notice there are three pieces of glass and that actually corresponds to the three torches we have here because each of these torches is acting as a NOR gate so each of these um, each of these pieces of glass is acting uh, on is part of an inverter which is acting on an OR gate you can see this glass uh, has an OR gate right here that, that is immediately after this glass has an OR gate right here receiving input from these two and this glass has an OR gate right here that's receiving inputs from both sides um, and so I use the same same methodology um, for the redstone to build this out of just minecarts and so when I turn this one on it's much faster to, to turn on um, or off the output um, in fact because of the instant wire property of this it can actually be pretty pretty quick so um, obviously this thing is is much much larger than this circuit here um, but it actually does go to show that if you have a flat circuit in redstone it's um, it's probably possible to turn it into a flat circuit in minecarts, which um, you can actually do a whole lot with flat circuits. Anyway, so now I've shown you um, how to do a bunch of circuits, um, fairly simple circuits, but they're the basis for very complicated circuits using uh, no redstone or redstone torches or redstone repeaters. Um, that and so the circuits I've shown you include, you know, XOR, um, some some vertical wiring to get the signal up and down, so you can build bridges wherever you need to, so you don't have to rely on flat circuitry. There's uh, some latches and some NOT and 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 NOR and OR gates and and whatever. These are all the basic components you need to build a computer. So I now challenge someone to build a computer in Minecraft using using no redstone or redstone torches or repeaters. Um, I don't know that, that I'll take the challenge myself. Uh, it sounds pretty difficult, but it's, it's definitely doable. So anyway, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.